everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was rather chilly again, and we had lots of rain, and you took the Jeep, I noticed. Mm -hmm. It was a downpour, and there was thunder, and there was... I got the weather bug sent me a message and said, 10 miles away, bad storm. Well, the storm was with us, and that wasn't 10 miles away. <laughs> Today, I was, when the kids were here, um, Paige had to do her science and her social, social studies. studies. See, I want to call it history <laughs> or geography. I want to call it everything but social studies. She's gotten to the point where she says, yeah, I did it, <laughs> no matter what I call it. But she had to do her science and her social studies. And while she was here, she was going to do it on um, dinosaurs. So I thought, gosh, I have a book on dinosaurs because they wanted to know. It's Now it's over with the kids' stuff somewhere. Um, <laughs> I um, said, I have a book on dinosaurs because she had to write how the reason the dinosaurs became extinct, why they are no longer around. And so she had to write on that. And then she also had to do in her in her social studies, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the government, she was studying the government. And so I thought, you know, I have books on that. I don't know where they are, but they should be in this library somewhere. So I was looking and looking and... Oh, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. So I went upstairs in a cabinet that I have where the maps were found and wasn't there. And then I looked in the cupboard here on this other side of the room and it wasn't there. And I'm thinking, it's got to be in this over here where I have all the books. So I looked again and sure enough, I found them. This was the one I was looking for for the social studies. And this is the one that was for the, if I should have had for the maps because Kyle's been doing maps and he's had to put in oh I don't know different stuff with the maps and this this is really 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 good but this one if he if when they get to like I think it's like third fourth grade probably not he's already third grade they do where they do the maps where they, it shows the the um, levels what is it called the it's not a flat map anymore now it's got the hills oh, the rolling hills and uh, topographical. topographical maps this one has that in there also and so what I decided to do is I thought gee maybe today is a good day to try to get those books more in an order because when I brought them down I just kind of took the pile whatever was in the pile and they went in the next spot so it kept going so I thought well I really should have the kids books all on one row which, now this is all kids' books. Then up on this next row, there's music over there, cookbooks over there, and cookbooks over here, because I didn't move everything yet. And there's dictionaries. i got mm -hmm. dictionaries back here. And um, there's another dictionary in the other room still, because that's the one that we were using to show them how to use a dictionary. They don't even know how to use a dictionary. And so they found it very fascinating to learn how to use a dictionary. And um, so that's what, what I was doing today while they were doing their work. And Kyle had to do some rhythmic things. And he says to me, do you have drumsticks? And I says, I do, but I'm not giving them to you. Because <laughs> he would have, they, they're meant for the snare drum. So I do have drumsticks. And I said, you know, your fingers work very well as drumsticks. And my tables make a very nice drum. It's big and round, just like a drum. And so he ended up taking two pencils and did the... And I said, you know, if you had my drumsticks, I'd have to make you hold them the way the drumsticks are supposed to be held, not just holding on. You'd have to, you'd have to change the one hand, and, it would, and you'd have to learn how to do the drumsticks. So better you don't have them. Okay. And so he did his rhythm, his rhythm stuff. So, and tomorrow they go to school. And tomorrow I go pick up my glasses. So maybe my, I will, my vision will be better. I won't have that excuse now for my <laughs> bad reading. But, you know, I see words. There was a thing I was watching, and they had, they showed everybody a word. Like, say, you were looking at this book, and they showed everybody the word, but the bottom part of the word was all covered up, and they all thought it said whatever it said, and when they pulled the tape off, it was nothing like what they thought it was. 
So um, that's how my, my eye is, or my thinking. I will see something, and I think, you know, it should say, but it doesn't say. Mm -hmm. So, but my my right eye will be clear. It should be 20-20 by then, because when they put the thing up in front of you, and he goes, how's that? And I go, well, I can read the very bottom line, and then it says 2020. So I have, will have 2020 vision again, which is really good, except uh, I'm going off track again. Mm -hmm. There is no except. <laughs> it's just that, I don't know, I'm lost now. I, I, uh, there's, I don't know. Here I go. I was just thinking how when those people do their car vlogs, how they can just kind of talk away and they're, they're talking about whatever comes to their mind. You know, if you have something riding by, I think it sparks it sparks ideas, whereas all I've got is Jim across the <laughs> You're not sparking no ideas there, I'm, Mr. Jim. I'm not. No. And I guess I'm done with my video. I have baby dolls here and rocking horses and Christmas tree and... And I have a nutritional chart, and he's looking at his phone. What are you looking at your phone for? <laughs> I got an email joke email? today. Oh, okay. Might, you can might... share. Okay, that'll be good. He's looking at his phone. He's flipping it. I don't have one of those phones. He wouldn't have one of those phones either, but his work insisted he have a phone. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. It's called the banana test. A banana test. Okay. <clears throat> there is a very, very tall coconut tree, and there are four animals. A lion, a chimp, a giraffe, and a squirrel. They decide to compete to see who is the fastest to get a banana off the tree. Who do you guess will win? Your answer will reflect your personality, so think carefully. <laughs> oh gosh, I would have said the giraffe. Try and answer within 30 seconds. And the giraffe is who I was thinking, because he's you right up there. Answer? Yeah, what am I? Oh no. Well... If your answer is lion, you're dull. Chimpanzee, you're dense. Giraffe, you're a complete idiot. <clears throat> idiot. <laughs> they use a different word, but it's the same. A squirrel, you're hopeless. Oh, good heavens. None of them are good then. It's because a coconut tree doesn't have to be <laughs> Obviously, you're stressed and overworked. <laughs> You Apparently. should take some time off and relax. <laughs> Have two glasses of wine, a box, a full box of chocolates, and a nice lunch. Oh, I'll have the chocolate, <laughs> definitely. I think I'll go have some of those when I get done here. I have, I actually bought a bag of M&Ms with the peanuts. I did open them, but I count out ten, and I, I limit myself to ten. But, you know, I might as well have a little few more. <laughs> <laughs> and I also bought some Halloween candy. But chances are we will have very few trick-or-treaters, so guess who gets to have candy? Ooh. <laughs> Not supposed to, but yeah, I will. And I only buy the kind I like. <laughs> <laughs> I never buy those big bags of mixed. hard candy and mixed candy because I don't like that candy. I buy Snicker bars because I love Snicker bars. And I bought the melt the the peanut butter cups because I know Paige likes those. So when Paige comes, she will have some of those. She doesn't like the ones with the peanuts, um, anything with peanuts, but Brianna does. So mm -hmm. we'll see. But I like them all, <laughs> so that's why I buy them. And this, some years I have given out those dollar bars because you know how the kids in the band, they would have to sell the 40 bars. And because we live where we live, who this, who's going to buy those 40 bars? I am. So I would buy the box of 40 bars and I tell the kids don't be bringing home another box because a lot of times when you sell your box, they want to give them another box and then the kids take them and then you got to sell those. No, just one box. I will buy one box. And so I used to give out just the the big dollar bars because they're a dollar a piece, those bars are, when you buy them. And so I would buy the $40, 40, do, $40 of chocolate bars. So I got 40 bars. And so I was giving those away to any trick-or-treaters. And when I had the daycare, I used to just, if they had a real good day, they got to go home with one of these chocolate bars. So the kids, they got used up that way. 
Well, that's my video for today. I hope you got a good laugh out of Jim's joke. <laughs> I did. I didn't know what he was going to say. But it's sort of sad that I'm whatever. <laughs> that's well, pretty sad. Uh, but, if, but if it was, if there were bananas on a coconut tree, the giraffe the would have been bananas. first. Oh, because yeah. his head is right up there, right next to that banana. And all I'd have to do is snatch it out. But apparently bananas don't grow in coconut trees. So I will. it's like if you have a cow, how much... No, something with the water, or how much water should you drink from a cow, or something, or I don't know. There's something where it's a trick, it's a trick question, I don't remember how it went, but they, or no, a bull. It, how much milk does a bull give, or something like that, a bull doesn't give you milk, mm -hmm. or how many eggs does a rooster lay? <laughs> that was another one, that one's better. How many mm -hmm. eggs does a rooster lay? He doesn't lay any. Because roosters don't lay eggs. Well, that's it for today. Have a great night or day or whenever afternoon. I still got comments to finish because of school. So I will see you tomorrow. I got to go to work. Bye.